Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about value. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, thank you for your videos. Don't you worry about that, I'm happy to make them. They really help me feel less anxious about my work. My question is this, how do I know whether the work I do produce any measurable value for the company? And if my work isn't valuable, how do I change this? I mean I, I mean I love my job and I feel grateful that somebody pays me to code and solve problems, but it would be also be, it would also be cool to feel that the work I do is somehow important or valuable either for the company or the end user. Thanks a lot. You and I, my friend, I think we are kindred spirits uh, because the way that you expressed yourself it's very that's pretty much how I feel about things as well I I I like to say and you probably heard me say that a few times uh, that I'm problem oriented like for me it's as long as the thing that I'm doing is an interesting problem I feel fulfilled solving it and there is a value that somebody finds it's useful either if it's a company or if it's some people like end users or so forth that makes me happy it feels really good and if i'm not doing that i feel miserable or i feel un i feel demotivated and i think this is a very i would like to think at the very least it's something that is very telltale for people who are like who really care about what they do and i think that is on average most people so the thing that you need to master now is something that it, it's going to be a little bit tricky uh, I will say it, it takes a little bit of experience to get this skill but I will strongly suggest to anybody who has reached a mid-level developer level at the very least to start doing this one thing and that one thing is to th focus on business value to learn how the business part of your company works and some people like to call this office politics in a sense yes that is what it is about and it has a negative tone for some people but it, do it doesn't have to be that way because you have to remember like office politics just as regular politics it comes down if it's good or bad it really comes down to the conversations that are being held by the people so if you have a bunch of douchebags in your company well then the office politics are going to be really horrible but if you're not in that situation well it's actually going to be pretty a pretty nice experience now this is easy to say it's really hard to do because it really comes down to you figuring out you, you, you need to understand people and business you need to understand what motivates people what they value you need to get in kind of in, like get your hand on the pulse of what people are focusing on because here's the thing and this is something that is it's like the most common mistake a naive software developer does or someone who doesn't really have a high emotional intelligence people who are very very like down towards like rationality or something something like that and that is that a the mistake they make is that they think that the thing that they believe is important and even if it is the thing that is important that that is the thing that is going to matter people are not rational my friends people are emotional and rationality always loses if emotion is involved what I'm trying to say here is basically that it's better for you to figure out depending now on like what you're after because if you want to just feel like you're being important without actually getting any credit for it or like actually getting anything back for it then it doesn't really matter then you can like go to wherever you want but if you want to feel valued and appreciate and feel like you're actually putting in effort into something that really makes a difference it's better for you to figure out what the people like the stakeholders in your company actually value as an example if you are an ops person now I as a software no, uh, software developer me Frederick I know that the work that you do is probably among if not the most important thing 
that the company is paying you, paying anybody to do. Because if you do your job poorly, there is no system. Like there, the company will make no money from their digital products because they will not work. But and in a, like an IT company with the same manager or things like that, you will get the credit that you are due. But you could also be completely ignored. Like be the tech person or something person who's kind of like you're just one of those people we never talk about. And this is uh, this is very common, guys. You will see this in many companies where the engineering department they don't always get a lot of credit for the work that they do. The sales really does, and HR or management or like these the the these people who are a little bit more in the spotlight sometimes, if that makes sense. They do get a lot of credit and they get a lot of positive feedback on the work that they do. But sometimes that's not the case for us software developers. So what you really need to figure out here is, as I said, what is valuable in your company? And every company is different. Like there's, of course, common denominators. Like if you have digital products, well, if you're working on like a backbone feature, as I like to call it, well, then you're probably going to be a little bit more high value in like a spot where people value the work that you do a little bit more. But it really comes down to you knowing your company and the people that you work with. Because when you figure that out, then you can do the thing that I, that this is the, this is the core skill. Because this is the, the thing that you, like getting to know people and raising your emotional intelligence and doing office politics and all that stuff, leads to you being able to do the thing that the stock brokers are doing, or the investment companies. You will have a good foundation for making bets on things and that's the thing that, that that's the valuable part making bets as a software developer comes down to, it's very it's really is very similar to the stock market you make investments so it's let's say for the sake of argument that you come into a company and you figure out that well I'm actually working on this little product over here that's this side thing that isn't really main business it's not poor part of the core business you will get the gut feeling that yeah this is a bad place for me to be it's kind of like if you're in a company where you get to be one of the pe the five people who sits in like a satellite office somewhere well that is a risk position it, it doesn't have to be this way but you could imagine that this could be a risk position because if the company downsizes well what's the first thing that's going to go all the nice to haves but the really important stuff that's going to stay stick uh, st stick around usually but that can also not always, that doesn't have to be true. Sometimes like really major changes happen and like core things go away. So that's the thing I'm talking about. It's the same with the stock market. Some things are like safe bets, stable things, and some things are like fluctuating all the time and so forth. So you kind of get, get a feel for these sorts of things. Uh, and you really have to, this is, I, I promise you guys, this is a skill. If you master this thing, it will serve you for the rest of your life. It is the thing that will keep you well paid, always employable, and highly respected within practically anything that you do. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that if you find yourself in a situation where you are not so sure if you're doing meaningful work and if you figure that you should probably switch or you want to get involved in more meaningful things, talking to your manager is probably the first best bet but you, before you can even do that before you can request transfers and stuff like that you have to make an analysis of okay where do you want to go what do you want to do like I say that the main focus for a software developer should practically always be to involve yourself in meaningful work that that grows your skill set that is the thing that is going to make you a high value software developer. It's going to keep you well paid, it's going to keep you employed, all of these good things, right? To do that you need to learn first and foremost how to do really well with the technical stuff, but then after that you have to learn how to talk to people, how to identify, like understand people's behavior, why do these people do this in that way and why does the company run in that fashion etc etc. Understand the meaning behind people's actions and never mistake what you think is important for what everybody else thinks is important because unfortunately we live in a world where emotions do make the difference for most people and that's why we have some people who for example they don't care about the environment but they care a lot about where their parking space is. Have a great day.